Hey guys, welcome to the week here at the Geek Course. And today we're gonna to continue on with the matrix that we've been working last week. So in this scenario, we're gonna be looking at when he rolls over uh, and he defends kind of like uh, by giving up the top position basically. So we're here, kick him over, hip, and we're in this position. He turns the knee and already now I'm chopping the leg and now I'm grabbing the pants here, okay? So like we said last time, if he maintains the top position, whether it's with the knee uh, down the floor or he has the leg up like this, we can go for the matrix, right? But what can happen, and even like you'll feel when his hips are so tilted to this side, we can even pull him towards this side here to start making him fall, okay? When he's falling here, you will see the grip on the side of his pants is quite important because, I mean, longevity wise as well, if your fingers want to be healthy, you want to keep them on the side of his pants because if he drops on top of your hand when he falls back here, it kind of it can hurt, right? So, with the grip here that I have on the side of his hips, I can now angle myself to the side here and I can start looking for his back. You'll see this grip also plays an important role that's underneath his leg because if he can step on me in any way he's gonna create distance and this is gonna make it hard for me to come closer to his hips. So by keeping my hand under here and grabbing the, the, the end of the pants here, I can maintain this frame, okay? So everywhere he, his leg goes, I can follow basically with my forearm, okay? Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm basically trying to pull myself tighter to him and I'm gonna cross my legs slightly here, but try to bring the shin in front of the leg here. Okay, so the leg that's free, the leg that's on the outside, comes in here and I put my shin in front uh, of uh, behind this cuff, okay? Once we're there, I'm gonna push a little bit so I can bring the bottom knee or the near knee down towards the floor, okay? So from here, shin comes in, other knee comes out. Now, I have something like an X hook that you'll see like Tommy and Espen, they're really like proficient using this uh, position here. But basically, this allows me now to keep turning and rotating underneath their shin. Okay, so just having this, you have a great position. You can even, if you want to, you can experiment a little bit to pull the guy closer to you using your legs here. So you don't need to necessarily have the X always by the knee. You can slide one foot down towards uh, the bottom of the shin. So you have kind of like some leverage to pull his leg or yank his leg over to the side. Okay, so once you hear, you want to turn to the side and you end up in like a crab right position, right? From here, I would say, uh, if you want to make it simple for yourself, always end up on the top here, great position. You get the two points. You can even like make it look like a pass if the guy starts working like a guard. Uh, you know, if you want to be fancy, you can start switching the grips. I've showed this back take before, basically rolling over my shoulder. I step, I bring him and I go for the back, okay? So, we're here, push him over, we got there. Now, we're in this position here, okay? So, I have the grip on the side of the pants. Uh, this one, like, just to give you guys uh, a fun one here too. Uh, this is basically a 50-50, right? The only difference is that the angle looks slightly different, okay? You see the 50-50 here, but I'm grabbing the side of his pants, and now I can start turning myself in towards him, okay? So here, I'm pushing his leg up, so I can bring the shin in, and now with that in, I can even create more space, so I can push up and bring my knee down towards the floor, okay? So with this, like we said, we can kind of uh, move him around, we can pull him towards me. And if I ever feel like there's too much distance like this, it's probably a good idea to pull first, because if I try to invert now, like this is gonna be uh, countering me or stopping me. So I wanna pull, get him tight, and that's when I start to move here, okay? Another thing you can do is, once you have this leg under control, you can start looking for the far leg as well. With the far leg, you have slightly more chance of defending if he tries to step on you. And also, once you're here, you can even use this to keep him under control, okay? Once on top, like I said, Great position, 
But if you want to be fancy, we go here and go for the back. Okay, one last time. Uh, we have the matrix. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, please like and subscribe. See you guys next time.